Hi everyone, this is Teacher Tianshi from Think Academy, and welcome to our second way of uh, practice problem. And today we are going to talk about a uh, system of linear equation. So first of all, I would like to introduce two uh, methods to solve for the system of linear equation, which I, which I think most of you are very familiar with it. So the first method is called the substitute method. So the substitute method basically means that we need to substitute one variable into the other. So we will only have the equation with one variable and then we can just solve it directly. So here we have an example. So x equals to three y plus one and then y equals to x minus six. So in that case, we can just substitute x in the first equation by three y plus one. So here we can have y equals to like we can change x into 3y plus 1 and then minus 6. So here we will have y equals to 3y minus 5. So 2y equals to 5. And the value for y equals to 5 divided by 2. And then for x, we can just plug in the value for y into the equation and solve for the value for y. So x equals to 3 times 5 divided by 2 and then plus 1. So 15 divided by 2 plus 1. So it's 17 divided by 2. And then we need to uh, write it in the form of the other pair. So x and y equals to 17 divided by 2 and then 5 divided by 2. So this is called the substitute stream method. And we also have another method called the elimination method. So for the elimination method, the goal is to eliminate one variable by adding or subtracting the two equations. So for example, in that case, we have two variables, x and y, and if we just add them or subtract the two equations directly, we cannot eliminate any of the one variable. So in that case, we can like do some calculation. So here is two x. But in the second equation, it only has x. So we can like do the multiplication for the second equation. We can multiply a 2 on the second equation. So we will have 2x minus 4y equals to 26, which is called the equation 3. And then we can like use the equation 1 to minus 3. So 2x plus 6y and then minus 2x minus 4y equals to 21 minus 26. So here we remove the parentheses. We will have 10y equals to negative five. So the value for y equals to a half. And for the value of x, we can like just plug into the second equation. So x plus one equals to uh, 13. So x equals to 12. And the other pair for x and y, equals to 12 and then negative half. So that's about the basic information about the linear equation. And let's talk about the extra practice problem in the can. So for this question, we have three variables, but the basic logic is the same. So here we have three equations and in all the equation, we have X and Y and Z and the co coefficient for the x and y and z are different in the three equation. So a useful way to do the calculation is to like add this three equation together. So if we add this three equation together, what we will get? So for the coefficient for x is two, two zero to two x plus 2022y plus 2022z equals to two, 2021 plus 2022 plus 2023. So 2022x plus 2022y plus 2022z equals to 6066. So what is the value for x plus y plus z? It is three. So in that case, we get the equation with all the coefficient becomes the same. So x plus y plus z equals to three. So we can call it the equation four. So by comparing the equation one with the equation four, actually we can like do the subtraction and eliminate both the variable y and variable z. So we can like use one minus three 
So we will get 2019x equals to 2018 because y and z, they are all eliminated by doing the subtraction. So the value for x is 2028, 2018 divided by 2019. And then similarly, we can like do the subtraction for two and three and get rid of uh, both x and z. So we will have 2019y equals to 2019. So the y is an integer, y is one. And as for z, we can do the calculation for uh, four minus three, and then we can get Then we can get 2019z equals to 2020. So the value for z equals to uh, 2020 divided by 2019. And then we can write it into a parenthesis. So x equals to uh, 2018 divided by 2019, and y equals to 1, and z equals to 2020 divided by 2019. So this is an equation about a, three, a linear equation in three variables, but the basic logic is the same. So we just need to like do the elimination method and to get rid of one or two variables. And then we can do the calculation and solve for the value for three variables. Okay, so let's talk about the last question in today's camp. So for this question, this is the AMC 10 level question. And let's read this question together. So the positive integers A and B are such that the graph y equals to ax plus five and y equals to three x plus b intersects the x-axis at the same point. And what is the sum of, of that uh, possible x-coordinate of this point of intersection? So for this question, uh, it tells us that the two lines, they intersect the y at the x-axis at the same point. So intersection, at the x-axis basically means that the value for y equals to zero, right? So y equals to ax plus five and y equals to three x plus b. They intersect as x-axis at the same point. So the value for x coordinate must be the same when y equals to zero because intersection in the x-axis basically means that the value for y is zero. Y is zero. So we just plug in the value for y into the linear equation. So y equals to zero, so zero equals to ax plus five. So ax equals to negative five, x coordinate is negative five divided by a. And what about the second equation? We also plug in the zero value for y into the equation. So zero equals to two x plus b, so b three x. So here we have, uh, 3x equals to negative b, so x equals to negative b over 3, negative b over 3. So we know that the intersection is the same point, which means that the x coordinate must be the same. So here we have negative 5 over a equals to negative b over 3. So can we find any relationship between the variable a and b? So actually we can use the butterfly method, right? So we will have negative a, b equals to here, negative 15. So the value for a, b equals to 15. And we also know that a and b are positive integers. So here is a condition for a and b, they are positive integers. So let's see what are some possible values for b, a and b. So the uh, multiplication, if we do the multiplication for a and b uh, is 15, and a and b are both positive integers. So if a and b, if a equals to one, then the value for b equals to 15 or the value for a can be three and the value for b can be five or five and then three and also 15 and one. 
So these are the only possible value for the integer a and b. And in that case, the question asks us what is the sum of all possible x coordinates. So x coordinate. So we can take this as an example. So basically, it, uh, this is two way of doing the calculation because the x coordinate is the same. So we can just use a as an example. So here we have four possible values for a, which is one, three, five, and 15. So we have four possible co uh, corresponding x coordinate. So if a is one, then the value for x equals to negative five. And if the value for a is three, then the value for x coordinate is negative five over three. And if the value for a is five, then the value for x coordinate is negative one. And if the value for a is 15, then the value for x coordinate is negative a third because negative five over 15 can be simplified into one third. So these four values are the four possible values for the x coordinate and the sum, we just need to like add them together. So negative five minus five divided by three minus one minus a third equals to negative six minus two, which is negative eight. So E is the correct answer for this question. So for this question, uh, the most important thing is that it is the questions involving A and B. And for that question, we can just treat them as the constant to do the calculation. And then we can like find the relationship between A and B and then like find the correct answer for this question. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, question. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your answers in uh, day two uh, summer camp. Bye.